what's up people welcome back to the channel so we, we we essentially have the format pretty much solidified as uh, as tier zero I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and for, like for the lack of better terms but to be honest like there, there there are ways like play around it but i'm also not gonna beat around the bush and say that well you could do this there is a lot of there's a lot of options there's always a lot of options but right now the best deck is snake eye one of the there's not many decks I could really like counter it. There's a couple of decks that have like a little things here and there. Like you have you have labyrinth that have certain ways to counter it. You have the you battle strategy that literally just because of super poly and you know certain tech cards. You have the voices voice being one of the like, newer decks I could kind of go with it. But for the most part, Snake Eye is usually coming on top seven out of ten, eight out of ten, even nine out of ten times. So essentially we you know we, we do have the market like re reflecting that i already talked about some of the snake eye stuff and how those ironically kind of started to come down and with you know like like you know with some of the stuff around it kind of staying up like you know talking like the uh, the wanted engine the bonfires and the diabal star those kind of staying up voices voice staying up but everything else around it is starting to go down especially because we do have an announcement Oh, not announcement. We, we do have the looming ban list, and we know it's going to be coming pretty soon because this format is going to get nuked for our next format. It's a little more. It's going to be more a little wide open going into the national. You go into the, the national season. So if you like, do it. Feel free to like and subscribe. If not, it is all cool. You know how it is. Try and get a 500 without out of the way. Let's get into the cards. Big welcome. Labyrinth has gone down a lot. It was over here at 35. dollars It wasn't. It wasn't kind of like it wasn't gradual. It did have this huge kind of like you know did kind of go down started to kind of come up a little bit but right now you could get them for 1633 to be honest i really thought that this deck was gonna this deck was gonna hold on way stronger than it did but unfortunately it just wasn't able to match up with the immense amount of power that was kind of coming out even though even though you had a lot of cool counter cards to use with it it just really wasn't holding up arius the labyrinth butler a wall point was trending into the $30 mark, but I did say these could come down, and they have come down a lot. You got them right here, near mint, first dead for $10, $10 all day, $11.50 with the $1 shipping. You're looking at about $11 to $12 for this card. For this card. So if, if you were, like I said, if you were trying to play the, the play like, like budget, even though, like I said, this deck is still good, this deck could still play, it's just that it's just more times than not you're going to be on the wrong side of a fire team strategy so that's that's pretty much what's happening with a lot of this and you know there's going to be a reprint but probably not for a while it's mostly the, the format so uh, to be honest like this right now could be a good time to get to get the cards if you feel like they won't get reprinted because then Konami's going to come around and they're going to give us a ban list and just going to hit the current version of the snake eye deck giving us a weaker version so that way we can play these decks so maybe now might be a good time to get into it you got right, right here, Lady Lever Lady uh, Lady Labyrinth of the Silver Castle going for two forty nine. You know the Arya, she's already in the three dollar, the two dollar range. She's one dollar. At one point, you know she was like really high. Even her reprint was still like you know three four five. Now she's kind of going to two dollars. You get the Welcome Labyrinth for a dollar to two dollars. If you were if you were sitting on the fence, I think now would be a would, would be a time to start picking. You know, start picking these up if you feel like. It's not gonna get touched, and they're gonna really hit the Snake Eye engine and everything hard. So it could be a good time, but to be honest, like I said, if, if you have already bought it, I would just keep it because, like I said, you're not really gonna get too much out of it. Transaction Rollback is another one of those cards that is really, I wouldn't say it's, it's not that it's only good in Labyrinth. You can use it in Virtual World, and like you know, like to you know to do kind of similar things in Labyrinth. But for the most part, you are using mostly in Labyrinth, and because like it's only other niches in a deck that's not even doing too too much right now, you pretty much have this kind of crashing in price. You got it right here for like twenty three eighty five, twenty two, pretty much like twenty four dollars when this was going at like thirty five plus at one point, even like high like this this card came out super high, solidified around the forty thirty dollar price, which I thought which I thought it was gonna stay around thirty because I really thought it was going to be a more of a heavy heavy hitting card. Just, 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 just because I thought it was gonna be that number two deck to Fire King, but we're just like just right now, TCG wise, it's just not really living up to that hype. Triple Tactic Thrust is a little bit of a different story. I, I thought it was gonna tank and kind of go lower, but it seems like it just kind of started to go up mainly because we're in this weird, uh, we're in this like I said, this tier zero format makes a lot of people think in their minds that we need to play board breakers, but it's still 
it's just more beneficial to kind of play hand traps right now because you're like like if you could just if we, we've kind of seen especially in the recent YCS and everything if you're just able to hold off your opponent for long enough until you could go into your one card combo that's that's really it like even like, even if you got a pass turn if you could just keep your opponent from going off and, and and if your opponent doesn't have those hand traps either eventually you're gonna get into your one card combo and you're gonna play it and you're just gonna go ahead and go off so that so like that that's kind of something where it's like people are just kind of moving more towards anti hand trap cards because the board breakers even though a lot of players think that's where you need to go board breakers are not doing as good that's why like it was going here for about 37 dollars and now it's starting to go up you get it right here 30 this one is for 39 but once that's gone you got it for 40 with the one dollar shipping 42 so we're looking around like 40 to 42 dollars I, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes to around 45 we keep seeing the hand trap format because that's just that's just kind of how things go here triple tactics talent you have so many different versions but the price is not really falling you have the ultra rares here for six these ultras kind of same thing for six the super rares going for six we could we, we could go look the the higher rarity you go the more expensive they get the lowest you're paying is about six dollars for this card and it's simply because whether you're going first or second this card is just working in the format if you're going first they're gonna probably use a hand trap on you if you're going second they're gonna have a board and they're gonna they're gonna have to activate a monster effect especially if you start to interact with them so triple tactics talent just completely makes sense in the format and that's why even though it's it's been like reprinted so many times it is not going under this price point like, like i said like a lot of people think that this oh ash should have been this this should have been a card i personally that Ash was gonna hold because I thought these were gonna get hit on the ban list, but they weren't hit on the ban list. Here they are, and they're still worth money. So if you have extra copies of this, just keep that in mind. That like you know th these are these are worth a little bit of extra change. So I would kind of get rid of them if you're not needing them because I'm, I'm not I'm not saying they would ban triple Texas talent, but I could see these going to like one, especially because just 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 because of. I don't know. Like, I, maybe it's a necessary evil. There's a lot of necessary evils in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, you know, you have Shifter. That, that's kind of a necessary evil. But at the same time, there's certain cards that are just too oppressive and just too toxic. And Triple Taxes Talent just might be one of them. We might have to put this one too, too. And one of the like, and like one of the last cards that I want to talk about is Summon Limit. Summon Limit is one of the best counters you could do if you're when you're playing against a snake eye like if you're if you like when, when you're going first you flip summon limit if they don't have a res if they don't have a response to it you are essentially winning the game you have a completely set up board they're going to summon what they're going to summon snake eye ash and then you know summon popular summon ash and then you just flip this and that's it your opponent's not setting up a board there's going to be no flame bridge dragon there's nothing for you to really worry about and at and as long as they don't get over us get over this and you have an established board there's no way your opponent's gonna be coming back this right here was going for $18 I think I did mention that these are one of those quarter centuries that you know buy now and they're kind of lower maybe like because I saw them at 12 I, I, I only I only got like two copies of these so I really wish I would have bought a full play set but when they're at 12 it did say kind of start picking them up right now they are 27 with the one 27 with one dollar shifting we're looking at 28 29 pretty much 30 dollars once these two copies are gone we're looking at about 30 dollars a piece a lot of people are going to need to run three copies of it just because like you have a lot of the other floodgates have been uh you know have been limited so people are always looking for those replacements and this right here especially in this tier zero summon a lot you know meta this right here is just almost as good as vanity's emptiness so be on the lookout right here if you get this from your rarity, <coughs> rarity collection someone has this in the binder they don't care about it pick it up just pick it up oh well like another thing uh, before i before i end i wasn't gonna say it's over before this ends i do also want to mention that if you don't want to be playing that super high rarity for two dollars you, you could get the platinum secret rare it was it was going for nothing they were like one dollar one dollar each and then they completely doubled in price because you know everyone just started putting them in their side deck but this is like the next highest rarity of this card you have the quarter century version and then you have this version so like like i said you, you don't have to spend thirty dollars you, you could go get five dollar bill get yourself a really nice looking set of this card it is very easy to get right now and i wouldn't play Yu-Gi-Oh without some limit all right guys that's it for the video peace out and i'll catch you in the next one